Welcome back to wagertalk.com. I'm joined by Brian Leonard. I'm Marco D'Angelo. We're going to take a look at TCU at Texas Tech. Brian, is Texas Tech for real or is Arkansas not as good as most people thought they were? You know, it's interesting. Um, Cheetah, one of our other handicappers on the site, we were down betting into the games of the years, and I was high in Arkansas, and so I was betting the Arkansas side. He's betting against the Arkansas side. At this point, he's a heads up on me because uh, Arkansas has not looked good so far. They have not, and I, unfortunately uh, for me, I had a good week last week, and this is the game that you picked and you wanted to relive for me so that I can talk about the torture of my only loser last week, but it was my biggest play of the week. Um, and I was with you on Arkansas. I thought um, they would run roughshod over Texas Tech. I thought Arkansas, after the bad game the week before, would get this team and wake Arkansas up. But I think they got bigger problems down there, and it starts with the quarterback, uh, and that's going to be a key when we talk about the quarterback that they're going to be facing this week. Yeah, it definitely does. And, you know, I talked about it last week. Uh, Texas Tech has never been very good against physical teams. And Arkansas is just not as physical this year for some reason. When they played Toledo, I thought they'd just run the ball down their throat. Uh, they, they could only run for about three yards a carry. They really struggled in the run game, which puts the emphasis on the quarterback. And that's really not what you want to do in a, in a Bielema offense. No, well, the problem with Brandon Allen, he's, he's accurate, but he doesn't stretch the field. And when they're not really worried about him stretching the field, you can cheat and bring people up and stuff the line. And that's what's been happening, even with a team like Texas Tech. Because I'm going to tell you, nobody's ever going to you know, mistake this defense for the monsters of the midway anytime soon. This defense sucks, let me tell you. And they're going to be facing TCU that has the wide receivers, has the running backs. And they've got a quarterback that not only can throw, boy, can you – Blink your eye, he'll tuck the football and take off, and that creates a whole nother problem for defenses preparing for him. You don't need to explain that to Texas Tech. They gave up 82 points last year to this TCU team. Uh, you know, we've talked about this early in the season. I used Minnesota against TCU early in the year. Uh, so I've been down on TCU overall on the season, so none of this surprises me that they've struggled a little bit lately. Uh, but last week, keep in mind, SMU is a team on the rise. That offense averaged 11 points a game last year for SMU. They could average 11 and a quarter this year. They're a very good team, and they sped up the pace in last week's game. They sped up the pace. So TCU has that advantage because Texas Tech likes to do that a little bit too. So the problem with TCU right now is they've got a lot of injury suspensions on defense, but they still got a great coach, and that defense is still a whole lot better than Texas Tech. You don't worry about the distractions this week with what the coach Peterson's been going through, you know, the Twitter, you know, and stuff. He, you know, taking a shot, you know, at Browse and uh, Baylor. Uh, it's just. I don't worry about any of the stuff. I worry about what's on the field. And you got the CCU team that's been unstoppable offensively. Now, keep in mind, this line before the season would have been a whole lot higher. In fact, I made the line now a whole lot higher than what it is. This value right now is definitely on TCU because you got the Texas Tech team that really played nobody the first couple of weeks and now they played you know an Arkansas team who we know is down but they won but that was a game the Texas Tech coach circled because of what the Arkansas coaches said at some things earlier in the season so they really wanted that game last week now they've got another game obviously he gave up 82 points to this team it's another circle game but can a team I've, we've seen Texas Tech so many times under so many coaches they could play a really good game but can they play back-to-back -back really good games against this TCU team? I don't think it, this is uh, going to be as close as the line is showing. I like TCU in this game. It's going to be a high-scoring game because Texas Tech will put points on the board, and TCU doesn't play a lot of defense right now because of all the injuries and the suspensions. But that TCU offense is awesome, and the coach over there is great. I'm laying the small number here. Okay, Brian, we got a special offer for – our viewers, uh, you're having a great football season uh, out of the gates, and they can get your season package, college and pro. If they use coupon code BRIAN200, they can take $200 off your season package. And, Brian, you've been doing pretty good. Tell them uh, real quick how you've been doing, and we'll end this video. Yeah, we're, we're doing great so far. College football has been great. NFL 5-1, and one. and even better, I'm hitting all my big plays, and they're all winning big. We had... Uh, Green Bay is the game of the month for Sunday Night Football Game of the Month. We had the Jets opening week against the Cleveland Browns. 
All of our big plays. Oklahoma State. On last Oklahoma Saturday. State was our top your play. Big that was and a that, blowout. Yeah, they won that by 55 <laughs> points or whatever. So not only are we winning our big plays, they were winning in crushing fashion. We're seeing it very well right now. We've already posted some plays this week that we really like. We got more to come. It's a great deal. All right, check it out. And guys, speaking of checking it out, check out all of our other videos. We did a ton of them this weekend over at wagertalk.com.